Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Lisa's Eats and today I'm going to show you how to make a baked bacon and zucchini slice. This is a really good recipe for if you need to have a quick breakfast on the go because with uni it's intense sometimes and also life is intense. But this is great for breakfast, lunch or dinner. You could add a salad to it if you want to. It's really delicious, it's got beautiful flavours and I hope you make it because it's also got hidden vegetables. So these are the ingredients you're gonna need. Two medium or one large carrot, grated. Two medium or one large zucchini, grated and drained of water. This is really important because otherwise it'll make your zucchini slice very soggy. One large brown onion, chopped. Six extra large eggs at room temperature. About three tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of salt or to taste. We're putting cheese in this and bacon so it might get a bit salty if you put too much salt. 200 grams of chopped shortcut bacon. Now this is the kind of bacon I'm using. If you're from America and want streaky bacon, go ahead with streaky bacon, but I prefer this one because it's less fatty. One cup of self-rising flour. Depending on how much liquid is in your zucchini, you may need to add another quarter cup or half cup of flour. And then one cup of grated cheddar cheese. Now, of course, let's be honest, this is probably more than a cup because I like cheese. Let's get started. Yes. I just love this, it's so easy. So what we're gonna do first is take one tablespoon of our olive oil and we're going to brown our onions and then we're gonna add our bacon just to get them nice and browned and cooked through. Once the onions have browned slightly, add your bacon and continue to cook on a medium high heat for about two to three minutes until the bacon starts to brown slightly. In a large bowl, we're going to whisk our eggs for about one to two minutes until they're perfectly incorporated. If you don't whisk them enough, they can break up a little bit and not give as good a consistency. Then we're going to add our zucchini, carrots, Cheese. Cheers. The bacon and onion mixture that smells delicious. Ooh, steamy boy. Our spices, our oil, and then finally our flour. And I'll show you the consistency you want with the flour. You may need more. Now, as you can see, this is looking good but it still to me looks a little bit liquidy. As you can see like down here, it kind of pulls a little bit. You want it to be a bit more like a paste. So I'm probably gonna add another quarter cup of flour so it's not as runny. Now I'm putting a little bit of baking paper in a, about a 30 centimeter by 20 centimeter baking tray. And we're gonna put this in an oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 355 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes. Now, if your mixture is slightly more on the wetter side, you may need to put it in for another five minutes or so. Okay, bye. I've let the zucchini slice rest for about 10 to 15 minutes in the pan. I've just lifted the sides of it slightly that weren't covered in baking paper just so it doesn't tear off. And then this is the great thing about this slice. You can actually freeze this and just reheat it in the microwave for a couple of minutes if you want to make bulk of this beforehand. As I said, it's great for breakfast, lunch and dinner. It's cheap, it's delicious, it's got a lot of protein, it's really good. And you can also change bacon to things like chicken, ham, extra veggies like broccoli or anything else. The options are limitless. Okay guys, that's how you make my baked bacon and zucchini slice. It smells incredible. As soon as I took it out of the oven, I just wanted to yum it. Let's just, I, let's just eat. Flavia, get over here. I'm so excited. Have you tried this one yet? 
Uh, I think I tried it once. I a while ago. Remember. Anyway. So let's go for this it. This is good. It's got some cheese in it. It smells so good. You have oh the first num. Okay. But yeah, see how beautiful the texture is? Like, it's just like... Oh, thank you. I know, it looks gorgeous. It's all squishy it and springy. It smells so good. Yum. Mm. Eat it. It's so good. Mm. Yeah, and you can just like glad wrap them all individually, put some in the freezer. It's so good. Just try it. It's easy, it's delicious, and it's cheap as well. Go for it. You won't regret it. Yum. Mine. Mine. I'm just going to eat the rest of this. Mm. So good. Yum. Hey guys, thanks, thanks for, watching for watching this video. video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment in the section below so that we can make something you've always wanted to eat. Because I love it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Preferably anime or something TV related or something like that or something awesome game related.